Hi, I'm Mariam Kamshad from the Investment Strategy Group here at Goldman Sachs with an update on ISG's views on third quarter economic developments. This time, we'll be taking a look at the Delta variant's impact on the recovery, continued inflation concerns, the Fed's looming tapering strategy, robust corporate earnings, and recent market volatility. While the spread of the highly contagious Delta variant slowed the pace of GDP growth in the third quarter, we don't think its impact will be significant enough to derail the overall recovery. Delta-driven economic headwinds include reduced consumer mobility, weakened consumer confidence, a disappointing August jobs report, and a delay in expected inventory restocking. However, thanks to the recent slowdown in Delta's spread, we expect these headwinds to ease and forecast U.S. economic growth of 5.9% in 2021 and 5% in 2022, which represent the highest levels since 1984. Eventually, the effects of the fiscal stimulus and the reopening will fade, leading to a smaller 2.4% consensus growth projection for 2023. Similarly, while consumer price index reports remain elevated and continue to fuel investor concerns over inflation, the market sees these as transitory. We agree with this view since supply chain bottlenecks and pricing distortions associated with reopening will gradually normalize. We expect headline inflation will moderate from 4.3% in 2021 to 3.5% in 2022. The two main risks to this forecast are higher home prices and persistent labor market tightness. The next policy adjustment by the Federal Reserve will be the tapering of its purchases associated with quantitative easing. This means the Fed will slowly cut back on their monthly buying of fixed income securities. We expect this tapering process to start this fall and be completed by mid-2022. Once completed, the Fed will then consider raising interest rates. Currently, the market is expecting the Fed to likely raise interest rates three times by the end of 2023, with the first rate hike possible toward the end of 2022. Our colleagues in global investment research believe that with lower inflation and slower growth, these market expectations are too aggressive and that tightening will be more gradual. Turning to the market, earnings growth in the first half of 2021 exceeded consensus expectations by a historic magnitude. These first half earnings now stand more than 25% above the pre-pandemic results seen in 2019. Accordingly, we now expect 48% earnings growth for 2021 overall versus our previous expectation of 39%. Long term, we expect 7 to 10 percent annualized earnings growth over the next several years, consistent with past economic expansions. Finally, market volatility rose in September due to a variety of factors, including the evolution of COVID cases, slowing global growth, the withdrawal of accommodative policy, uncertain fiscal policy, ongoing debt ceiling worries, and finally, potential systemic risks from China's property sector. While these are all reasonable concerns, we believe that none of these risks are disruptive enough to tip the U.S. economy into recession. Instead, we think the fundamental underpinnings of the expansion remain in place and will ultimately reward investors who can weather such periodic bouts of volatility. Thanks, as always, for taking a moment to let us share our views. For the Investment Strategy Group, I'm Mariam Kamshad.